yet about as a native Hawaiian, the process would have to work for a couple hundred years. But anyway, <coughs> good question, Mike. Hold it. Hold it close to your mouth. Yeah, okay. For well, a couple hundred years. But anyway, I was uh, asked to speak and appreciate the opportunity. We can say how much against uh, uh, geothermal and how we look at it as a native Hawaiian. Uh, we are, I see this room, and we've always been, I guess, uh, a minority here. Um, the census shows that uh, we're about equal to Filipinos in the census of uh, who we had as a race, Caucasian, Japanese, and Chinese, and they call called the Hawaiians. But uh, again, they come to the Hawaiians, or a Hawaiian so-called belief, to look at bailing out the whole energy crisis. But we use that much electricity, and there's things everybody else that does it, and big developments. Our concern, my concern, was on the religious aspect. You know, as a vet, I fought for freedom of religion. And I fought for everybody's religion. Not to realize that when I got home, they wouldn't care about my beliefs. And I'm not talking about the Hawaiians that accepted Christianity, assimilated to the so-called Western world, but a Hawaiian that's hanging on to his traditions. There's not too many of us left. We still believe on where we came from, our creation stories, our beliefs, our family responsibilities, and our genealogy. Now, I think that's important for our children to still have that opportunity and that respect in Hawaii that they can be traditional someday and not allow government and assimilated Hawaiians to change that future for them. I don't have a problem with Hawaiians believing in Christianity. But it's really shame when they go against their own to tell them they're not traditional anymore and don't believe in the traditions. And show that to the general public how they can ridicule one another as a race. And say that it's very few of us that believe this way and it's a right for the children to have their chance. Now, I'm always against you, come. So the whole idea about doing studies and impacts. You know, if I was a bird or a bee or a bug, I would look at some impacts of what would happen to me and how I believe in what is traditional and what is respectful. But they don't do it that way. I have to speak for myself. And why isn't that the truth? The bees and bugs don't speak, but they have an opportunity to get protected. They have laws that will protect them, their habitat, their purpose. But for native people, we are supposed to be assimilated into Christianity and forgotten about who we really are. Where some of us is hang on to traditions are not a so-called assimilated Christian or white. I'm a traditional one. And I have that right to stay that way. I may not have that right in Pasadena. But I should have that right in Hawaii. And for those Hawaiians that are now taking the lead, shame on you. But you know exactly what I'm right and what I'm right about. And what I'm fighting about. The rape of my religion, the sacrilegious acts of putting a meter on what I believe is sacred, charging money for it. Where is that right looked at? And why don't I have a right for that? I'm not talking about the Hawaiians that believe because money drives them to do what they're doing. It's not about money. It's about the opportunity to be, for me to believe in my religions, my beliefs, my alma force, my kumaliko, my understanding of so-called evolution, my Bible, my beliefs, like everybody else has. And now it's the drive again with the Hawaiians taking the lead, acting as if they don't believe or do not care about their own race. Shame on you. You should put your names out there in front of the Hawaiians or go to the Hawaiians themselves in their community and tell them that you want to do the sacrilegious act to what they believe is sacred. Go to the Pele people. You people move from Oahu, you have different beliefs, you have different conditioning, you learn how to be something else, you have a different spirituality, 
Don't impose that on top of me. Impose it on the, your very kind. I should have that right and that respect. I should have a right and understanding that this government should impose those things upon me. Oh, how I can believe this way. And leave the children that opportunity. Leave my children that opportunity to be traditional. You can travel the whole world and see traditional people all over the place. And do you find any traditional Hawaiians left? Is there all any authenticity left in Hawaii for Hawaiians? But you can go to France and see a real French man. China and see a China man. But in Hawaii, there ain't none. Is it important that we stay that way? Is it important that we stay Hawaiians? There's no extra Hawaii. There's no extra Hawaiians. We are what we are. And everybody here should respect that. Because I respected everybody else. I fought for their re freedom of their religion. If I knew it, I wasn't going to get any. Then tell all the Hawaiian children not to go to war and fight because their traditions will not be respected. And all the ones that died that I knew of in the war, believing in their rights. And the Hawaiians I know that are best that fought for their rights. Today I know them. And they believe in what I'm saying. That's what they fought for. So I'm just saying that we are a minority. And I know everybody's got concerns. But think about the Hawaiians who don't have any voice anymore. Who are the Hawaiians to simulate, to act Western. The Westerns don't have a problem. you got 300 million Americans. They'll all have babies. So you'll never run out of Americans. But we're going to run out of Hawaiians. You'll never find any more anyplace else. So I shame on those Hawaiians that impose upon other Hawaiians their so-called Western beliefs and not respect one another because there is no other. And tell everybody and show everybody in the world that we're supposed to respect each other, not ridicule one another. No matter what it is, especially over money. And that's all it's about. Bucks. So, I really want people to understand that you never heard a Hawaiian say anything this way. You gotta believe that there are many that believe in traditions, hang on to traditions, and have no other place in this world to practice those traditions. But here, and clearly, it's definitely a real thing. That more I can prove, I believe, to my God, than anybody else can prove Jesus Christ to me. And I don't go around the world committing wars and killing people under any other religion. I don't do that. Not under Pele, not under Hawaiian beliefs. Or forced on the Christianity. And I know everybody in here, a lot of people in here understand and believe what I'm saying. I walk side by side with many of you. And people in this room should understand living next to Pele, living your wife you also got a responsibility to respect the people, his traditions, his practices, and his place, and their purpose for being who they are in this universe. Like everybody else that has a purpose, so do we. So I'm just telling you, if there's any concern you should be thinking about an indigenous person that will not be the same anymore by taking a species and changing its whole characteristic. When they make laws to protect those things, they should make laws to protect me to stay Hawaiian. And shame on the Hawaiians. They go against one another for the purpose of a dollar and sell out their soul and expect me to sell my soul because that's all we got left. We've taken our beaches, our valleys, our waters, our sand, and taking every resource that we've had. 
And now you're going to reach it through my soul and take that out. That's all I have left. I'm going to take that. And I'll stand up for that. And for men more alliance in the future, I believe the way I do. I appreciate that opportunity.